Between the 9th and 3rd millennia BC, wetter climate was dominant in most of Africa. Where today is the Sahara Desert was a savanna ecosystem much like in modern East Africa, with Mediterranean forests at higher altitudes. During that time, the Maghreb region was populated by tribes from what is now known as the Caption culture. Caption groups were among the last North African foragers at a time when other groups were abandoning food collection to engage in food production in the form of pastoralism. The caption culture was named after the town of Gafsa in Tunisia, which was known as Capsa in Roman times. It is the descendant of the Ibero-Mauritian culture, which was present in the Maghreb in the Upper Paleolithic. Remains from this culture were found in the central Tunisia, in the area of Gafsa, without reaching the coast, as well as in the Algerian region of Tebesa, and towards the west, as far as the town of Oled Jelal in Biskra region. On the basis of cranial morphology, the caption populations are of the Proto-Mediterranean type, a type different from that of the men of Mehta Afalu, associated with the Ibero-Mauritian culture. The men of the caption culture show similarities with the men of the Natufian culture of Palestine, confirming the idea of an Asian origin. Analysis of dental features of human caption fossils has shown that they are closely related to the present-day North African populations inhabiting the Maghreb, the Nile Valley and the Canary Islands. The captions seem morphologically close to the current Kabylis and Shawis people of Algeria, followed by the Guanches of the Canary Islands and other Saharan populations of Morocco, Tunisia and Libya. Geometric microliths are one of the main characteristics of the caption culture, and they do not appear during the Ibero-Mauritian phase. The captions use the same procedures in carving and retouching, but obtained different tools, reflecting a different way of life. The caption diet included a wide variety of animals, ranging from aurochs, an extinct species of large wild cattle, to antelopes, hares, and even snails. The bones of the hartebeest antelope are notably found in a constant and important manner in the caption archaeological sites. It is possible that the people from the caption culture try to domesticate this species. There is little information about plants eaten. There is evidence that they were consuming the nuts of the Aleppo pines and were using esparto grass as a source of fiber for basketry. Caption foragers exploited small seeded grasses from wetland microenvironments within their home ranges, which allowed them to resist to major fluctuations in climate. The caption people lived in huts they made from tree branches, and shepherds were dwelling in caves in the mountains during the summer. Nothing is known about caption religion but their burial methods suggest a belief in an afterlife. Decorative art is widely found at their sites, including figurative and abstract rock art, and ochre is found coloring both tools and corpses. Seashells were used for beads and necklaces. Ostrich eggshells were used to make beads and containers, and this is considered the main reason for delaying the appearance of ceramics. Late in the Neolithic, after the climate became drier and Sahara began transforming into a desert, they imported sheep and goats and their hunter-gatherer economy was transformed into a livestock and pre-agricultural economy without abandoning hunting. <laughs>